What is going on everybody? My name is Lights Out. I'm from MaddenDaily.com and here is some early Madden 17 gameplay. I'm going against another game changer. Thank you again EA for flying me down to this event to record this early Madden 17 footage. The video is sponsored by the EA Sports Game Changer program. I chopped up and edited several Madden 17 early gameplays for you guys, but for this one specifically, I'm not going to voice over the video. It's just going to be strictly presentation and commentary. I want to showcase how good the in-game back and forth commentary is in Madden 17. You guys are going to be really impressed. Also, as far as this gameplay, uh, the game is not close. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be breaking it down quarter by quarter. This is quarter one, but I played really well. And this is the best game that I played throughout the whole entire trip that I was there. And I want to showcase a lot of really good plays, um, a lot of good swats, interceptions, user picks. I had some really nice runs with the running back. And I just want to showcase that. So I'm going to go quarter by quarter so you guys can hear how great this presentation is. Plus some really good clips of me playing Madden 17. If you don't know who I am, I'm a top Madden player. I played in the Madden Championship, made it to the semifinals. Lost to my good friend Stiff, who is the Madden champion. And I want to let you know quick, Madden 17, there's definitely a learning curve from past Maddens to this one. It's going to take some time to get used to beating the zones and stuff. And you're going to see that in my other games against other game changers. I didn't play so well. This game that I'm playing now was one of the last games that I played for the event. So I was a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more in the groove, a little bit more focused. And you're going to see that in my gameplay with this one in comparison to the other games that I post. Regardless, you're going to enjoy it because it's Madden 17 new content. But in these four videos I'm posting for this game, you're going to really enjoy the in-game commentary. You might even be wowed by it. It's really that good. And then also some cool top plays that I made in the game. So enough of me talking. Let's get into the in-game commentary. I will see you guys in the second quarter video. Please like the video and subscribe to Madden Daily if you are new. If we get a lot of likes, I'll post that second quarter video followed by the third and fourth right away. All right, so like the video if you enjoy. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. They'll roll him out right. Six yards on the pickup. And just like that, it's third down. Well, there's another example of what Marcus Mariota brings to the game. Sweet feet that elude sticky situations. He knows how to get outside the pocket and get downfield. Last year as a rookie, he showed us exactly how to do it and do it well. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. They'll run here. This is Dexter McCluster. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and it just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. They're going to run it with Murray. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Give him eight on the play. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Ooh, that's taking a real chance on the opening drive of the ball game. I get wanting to be aggressive, but you don't want to leave your defense in a bad spot right away. Fortunately, they're able to convert here on fourth down. They go back to Murray on first down. And a cut to the left sideline. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. DeMarco Murray, 28 yards. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. So they get the ball on the opening drive. They take it in for the score. And how about setting the tone right away? Everyone talks about wanting to do that, but you always hear it in every locker room. First five minutes of the game, who's going to set the tone? Who's going to take control? Guess who just did? Well, now on the next drive, you, you, when you score that quickly or you're scored that quickly against, probably feel like you need to respond. Yeah, without a doubt. In other words, you've actually put the pressure even more so on your opponent. Hey, get out. Move away. Get out. Move away. First down, here's the run with Martin. A beautiful fake. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. In 2015, 
we saw the Doug Martin that we saw as a rookie, didn't we? Absolutely. A 1,400 yards second only to Adrian Peterson last year. And he really helped a young quarterback develop by taking a lot of pressure off of him. Now he feels blitz coming and down he goes. Wesley Woodyard coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Thinking pass. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. Now Brian Anger in his fifth year out of Cal on to punt it away. Out come the Titans now. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, 2016 in Tennessee, DeMarco Murray. We're going to find out if it was style, scheme. Does he still have it or not? He thinks he's going to be more comfortable with the Titans. Yeah, because that fall off last year, 2014, over 1,800 yards, 392 carries. One of the best seasons running the football.